And that's the tea. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am outside on my sister-in-law's porch. There's a beautiful stream flowing nearby. There's birds chirping in the trees. And I just thought today would be a great day to film reading people's assumptions about me. So I do have a few here to read for you guys and to talk about, but anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, for clicking on my video today, and I hope that you enjoy. The first assumption that I got was, these are very tame by the way, <laughs> I tried to put in my Instagram story like, don't hold back, let me know, but nobody, by the way, Nala's out here if you hear <laughs> some weird noises going on in the background but nobody like gave me any like really juicy dramatic ones so that's okay right everyone's being nice the first one i got is you can't handle spicy food that's correct <laughs> i don't particularly enjoy spicy food i can handle like maybe medium but like if i'm eating like i don't go for spicy if that makes sense like it doesn't give me joy to eat spicy food because i feel like i'm too busy worrying about the spice and I can't taste the flavor. You've never had someone be rude to your face, especially in the restaurant industry. That is completely false. <laughs> um, I've had so many people be rude to my face um, in all of my jobs that I have been working at. Um, just people, people, I just wish people would treat people like human beings that have lives and feelings. Like your servers at your restaurant are people. <laughs> they don't live at the restaurant to serve you and then they just are done with their lives. They go home, they have goals, they have achievements. We're people too. So yes, I've definitely had people be rude to me in my past. <laughs> okay, this next one says, it's from Blake and he wrote, you love your dog more than your husband and this is not true at all. Oh. So of course Nala right now is going to need some extra care and attention because she is a puppy but Blake is obviously my first priority. He is my husband. I committed to him when I chose to be his wife and he is definitely, I love him way more than Nala even though I love Nala a whole whole lot. Next one is from my friend as well. And she put that you're a beautiful soul, reliable friend, and gorgeous. And of course, she's a little biased because she is my friend. Um, but I don't know if I would agree with the reliable friend part of this. Nala! Ay, ay, ay. She just ripped Velcro off of this thing back there. I don't know if I would agree with the reliable friend part. I think I have a really hard time um, being a good friend. If I'm completely honest, I'm really bad about uh, answering text messages, returning phone calls. I'm just, I'm just really bad at it. I'm gonna be honest and I'm still working on it. And for my family as well, like I, I'm just really bad about answering my texts or calling people. I'm just really bad at communication, I guess I could say. And I'm really bad at like checking in on people, um, which I'm trying to work on. So I'm hoping to get better. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to be a better friend. And I also am just like really, really introverted. So when it comes to like a night with my friends or like a night at home by myself, I'm going to be honest, I tend to pick the night by myself. Um, but I'm trying to get better, like I said, and um, trying to be a better friend. So that's what I have to say about that. You like Disney more than your dog and husband, which is also not true. When Blake and I first started dating, Blake was like, do you like Disney more than me? He asked me like so many times and I was like, no way. I am a huge Disney fan, a huge Disney nerd but in no way does that take priority in my life over my family or my husband. And um, yeah, it's also nice to have a husband who enjoys going to the parks with you and who watches Disney movies with you. So I get to have all my passions together and it's just great. <laughs> Next one says that you're a fake nerd. You're too pretty to be a nerd. And that is also false, I would say. Um, I don't really know what 
you would classify as a nerd, I think 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 everybody's opinion is different. Um, but like in high school, I was in the IB program, which if you're not familiar is the International Baccalaureate program. And I also did AP classes. So I was constantly studying and constantly doing schoolwork. Um, and I also have a vid video game player. I love playing video games, especially Kingdom Hearts is my favorite. Um, and I'm always reading, which is like considered nerdy. Um, so I think that I would classify myself as a nerd. I'm also a huge Disney nerd. Um, I love watching Disney movies. <laughs> and yeah, I guess that's what I would say about that. I wouldn't compare myself to Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory. I don't think I'm quite that smart or nerdy. <laughs> um, but I think I, I would call myself a nerd. Okay, um, so this one says, you went to Rosen, which if you are not familiar with the school, UCF, which is where I went to, University of Central Florida in Florida. Rosen is like a subsect of the UCF campus. It's the hospitality um, school <laughs> for UCF. And it's literally right by my old house, which is why in my Backpack Essentials video, we did film there, because um, it's right next to my apartment. However, no, I did not go to Rosen. Um, I just went to UCF and I was not a hospitality major. I was a humanities and cultural studies major. So that's that, but I did really enjoy my time there. And I honestly really wanna go back to college at, or at least do some like college classes because I really miss like learning and studying as crazy as it sounds. And then like once you graduate college, you're like hit with the real world where like I've been looking for a job and I can't get one and it kind of sucks and I just wish I could go like study in my room and worry about like my test grades and yeah <laughs> anyway guys that is all the assumptions that I have to read in this video today I hope that you guys enjoyed please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it I would really really appreciate it but you don't have to <laughs> I'm not forcing anyone to do anything and leave me some suggestions down below for some videos that you guys would like to see and that's basically it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry they weren't as juicy as I was hoping for. I was hoping I'd get some very dramatic ones, but maybe we'll do this one again in a couple years um, when I have some more followers who might not know me as well and see what they have to say then. So anyway, guys, I hope that you are having a wonderful, wonderful week. I will see you on Thursday with a vlog and that's it. Goodbye.